Namaste dear yogis. Welcome to this yoga flow for strength, flexibility and balance. If you have yoga props like yoga blocks or thick heavy books, go ahead and grab those. We'll start on an all fours position with a wrist stretch. Take your right hand, fold your right thumb in and wrap your right fingers around your right thumb. Gently place the back of your right hand on the ground. Soften your elbow and feel the stretch. Breathe into it. One more breath and release. Now externally rotate your right arm, pointing your right fingertips towards your right knee, gently placing your palm on the ground and again breathe into your right wrist. Relax your facial muscles while you do this. Good and then shake it out, release, switching sides. Fold your left thumb in, wrap your left fingers around your left thumb and gently place the back of your left hand on the ground. Bend your left elbow. Take a deep breath. In through your nose. Slow breath out through your nose. And slowly release. Externally rotate your left arm. Pointing your left fingertips towards your left knee. Gently placing your left palm on the ground and breathe. Good and slowly release, shake it out. Place your knees directly on your hips, wrists under your shoulders for cat cow pose. Inhale through your nose, drop your belly, look forward. Exhale through your nose, round your spine, chin to your chest for cat pose. Keep going. As you breathe in, arch your spine, open across your collarbones and as you breathe out round your spine feel the space in between your shoulder blades do a few more rounds on your own inhale to open exhale to round and contract then slowly come to a neutral spine and come into a downward facing dog curl your toes under Place your hands a little bit past your shoulders, lift your hips up and back, lengthen through your spine, feel free to pedal it out, bend one knee and then the other as if you're walking, so keep alternating, breathe into the stretch in your hamstrings, your calves. Very good, then lift your heels all the way up, do a little wiggle, an adjustment with your hands and feet, come into a plank pose as you breathe in or half plank, dropping down onto your knees. Then slowly launch yourself a little bit forward past your shoulders and lower yourself all the way down onto your tummy. Press the tops of your feet and pubic bone into the ground, hands are under your shoulders, inhale, peel your chin and chest up. Hold your cobra pose and breathe. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, lower your forehead down. Curl your toes under. Slowly move into a tabletop pose and from there into a downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, lift your right leg up and step it in between your thumbs. Come into a high lunge. Take a little bit of a wider stance so that you're standing on railroad tracks. And slowly place your hands on your knees and then from there come all the way up into a crescent lunge. Reaching your arms up. And then place your hands on your hips for a side body stretch. Bring your left arm up as you breathe in. Exhale. Dive towards your right side. Now hold your balance. Keep breathing. Slowly come back to center as you inhale. And then interlace your hands behind your lower back. Open your heart, open your chest. Take a deep breath in to lengthen your spine. Bring your shoulder blades together. As you exhale slowly, bring your upper body forward. Rest it on your right thigh or by the inside of your right thigh, reaching your arms back up, 
keep breathing. Then slowly release your hands, frame your front foot. Keep your left hand by the inside of your right foot for dragonfly or easy twist. As you breathe in, reach your right arm up. Hold it here and breathe. Beautiful and slowly lower your right hand down as you breathe out. Now take a little step back with your right foot. We're going to take a modified side plank towards our right side. Your left leg is in line with your left wrist. Your toes are pointing towards your right. Reach your right arm up and over. Press your hips up towards the sky. Hold yourself up strong and steady, pushing yourself away from gravity. Option one is to stay here. The second option is to lower your left hip down for a hip stretch or a hip dip. You can also lower your right arm down in line with your right shoulder. Come back to your modified side plank where we will all meet. And then from there, step it back into downward facing dog. From down dog, take your vinyasa or stay in your downward facing dog. If you're doing the vinyasa, come to a plank as you breathe in or a half plank. As you breathe out, launch yourself forward, lower down, and then inhale, lift up in cobra pose. A second option is to take upward facing dog. Place your hands by your lower ribs, press down through the tops of your feet and palms, and then push yourself up and away from gravity. Slight back bend, look forward, take a deep breath, and slowly bend your knees, come into a downward facing dog. And then from downward facing dog, we'll do the same on the other side. Inhale. Bring your left foot forward in between your hands. And remember to stand on train tracks for stability. Once you feel stable, scissor your thighs together. Keep your legs strong and active. Then place your hands on your left knee. Slowly come up and reach your arms up overhead in your crescent lunge. Hold and breathe. Beautiful. Now release your arms down as you exhale and place your left hand on your left hip. For a side body stretch, inhale, reach your right arm up, lengthen through your spine, exhale, keep your chest open and dive towards your left side. Breathe into your side body stretch and hold your balance. Move slowly. Good. And inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release your right arm down. Stay in your high lunge. Now release your arms and interlace your hands behind your lower back. The unusual way, it's going to feel a little bit weird. Take a deep breath in to lengthen your spine. Breathe out, begin to fold forward so you can rest your torso on your left upper thigh or by the inside of your left thigh, reaching your hands towards the back of your head. Hold and breathe. There's a lot going on over here. Very good, and then slowly release your hands. Framing your left foot, keep your right hand by the inside of your left foot. As you breathe in, easy twist or dragonfly, reach your left arm up and rotate your chest towards your left. Release as you exhale, place your left hand down. Then for a modified side plank, bring your left heel, your left foot a little bit back underneath your tummy. Then turn towards your left side, so your toes are pointing towards your left. Reach your left arm up and over in your modified side plank. Hold it and breathe. So remember that your right leg is in line with your right wrist. Keep pressing your hips up. So hold it here, option one. The second option is to take that hip stretch by lowering your right hip down towards the ground. Lowering your left arm in line with your left shoulder. Then slowly come back and then back into your modified side plank and back to your lunge. From our lunge pose 
step your right foot forward in a standing forward bend. You can hold on to your blocks, soften your knees, or hold on to the backs of your thighs or calves. Relax your head and keep your eyes open. Then take ragdoll pose, hold on to your opposite elbows, do a gentle swaying from side to side. Relax your neck and let everything, all the tension glide off your back. And then slowly come back to center, release your arms down, breathe in, slide your hands up your shins, thighs come up halfway, half lift, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, soften your knees and come up all the way, reaching your arms up. Exhale, hands in prayer position, Samasriyi. Take a deep breath. Ground down through your feet. Then for a one-legged mountain pose, stand up tall on your left leg and bring your right knee up. So bend your right knee and you can hold on to your right knee, flex your right foot. Keep your left hand on your right knee, hold your balance and slowly as you breathe out, open your right arm towards the back, twisting your chest towards your right. Great work Yogi, slowly come back, holding on to your right knee with both hands. From here we'll take a quad stretch or dancer pose. Slowly kick your right foot towards the back and then keep your knees together. Hold on to the inside of your right foot with your right hand. Hold it here. You can slowly keep kicking your, the top of your right foot in your right hand, lifting your right leg up towards the back, tilting your upper body slightly forward. Now go as far as you can go. Hold your balance. Focus on one point on the ground in front of you. If you feel like you can go a little bit further, go for it into a dancer pose. And slowly release, come back. Sliding your right foot forward, bring your right knee up and place your right foot down. And then we'll switch sides. Shake it out, stand up tall on your right foot, find one focus point in front of you, engage your core. Slowly lift your left knee up, flex your left foot. Then your right hand holds on to your left knee. Once you feel stable, slowly Get ready to twist, breathe in, exhale, reach your left arm towards the back, rotate your chest to your left, keep breathing, hold your balance, very good, slowly come back to center, hold on to your left knee, place your hands on your hips and then slide your left foot towards the back, keep your knees together. Go for your quad stretch by holding on to the inside of your left foot. You can stay here, hold your balance, there's a lot going on, keep your knees together. If you want to take dancer pose, slowly lift your left knee up, keep kicking the top of your left foot into your left hand, tilt your upper body forward and go as far as you can go. Keep focusing, move very slowly. Keep your breath flowing, of course. Wonderful, and then slowly, mindfully come back. Sliding your left foot forward, lift your left knee up, flex your left foot. Good, and release, shake it out. For pyramid pose, keep your blocks close by, and then come towards the back of your yoga mat. Take a wide stance, or Imagine that you're standing on railroad tracks and step your right foot forward. Toes are pointing forward and feet are parallel with each other. Keep your hips even with each other. You can place your hands on your hips. Slowly, as you breathe in, lengthen your spine. Breathe out, begin to fold forward. Keep your hands on your hips or come onto your fingertips or place your hands on blocks. You can always bend your front knee and breathe. You can relax your head down if you want. So hold your pyramid pose, keep your breath flowing. Then from pyramid pose, slowly into a standing splits. 
shift your weight forward, bend your right knee, hands are on blocks or rest on your fingertips. Then bring your left leg up, reach it up, lower your upper body down. Here's a lot of balancing going on and also a stretch. So breathe into it. Very good and slowly lower your left leg down. Place it next to your right foot. Take a standing forward bend, take a breather here. And then here in our standing forward bend we're going to add a twist. Bend your left knee and straighten out your right leg. You can keep your left hand on a block or rest your left forearm on your left thigh. As you breathe in, lengthen your spine, reach your right arm up, rotate your chest to your right and breathe. Slowly release as you exhale. Lower your right arm down, switching sides. Now bend your right knee and straighten out your left leg. Your right hand is on a block, fingertips on the ground, or your right forearm is on your right thigh. Inhale, reach your left arm up and twist your chest to your left. Breathe and hold. Enjoy the stretch. Good, and slowly release as you exhale back to your standing forward bend. Soften your knees, relax your neck. Then breathe in, lengthen your spine, half lift. Slide your hands up your shins and thighs. Exhale, fold forward. And from there, soften your knees. Inhale, come up with a straight back, reaching your arms up. Exhale, hands on your hips and come towards the back of your yoga mat for the other side. Remember to stand on train tracks. Take a wide stance. Step your left foot forward. You can soften your left knee. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, begin to fold forward from your hip creases and hold it here with your hands on your hips. Make sure that your hip bones are even. You can also bend your front knee. Place your hands on blocks or fingertips on the ground wherever you can reach. Hold your pyramid pose, take a deep breath. You can relax your head down. Energetically keep pulling your left hip back so that you're keeping your hip bones even. Keep your breath flowing. For standing splits pose, bend your left knee, shift your weight forward, hands are on blocks or fingertips are on the ground and slowly reach your right leg up. Hold it and breathe. Feel the stretch and hold your balance. Notice the strength in your arms and hands and your left foot, your left leg. And at the same time as you reach your right leg up, notice that hamstring stretch. So there's a lot of balancing literally going on, but also figuratively with the structure of your pose and the ease. Good. And slowly lower your right leg down, standing forward bend. From your standing forward bend, soften your knees and breathe in, half lift, breathe out, fold forward, inhale, come up all the way, breathe out, hands in prayer position. Now come towards the back of your yoga mat again and make sure that you're standing on railroad tracks for stability, stepping your right foot forward will add a shoulder stretch with cow face arms. So find your pyramid pose stance, stand up tall and check your hip bones, make sure that they're even. Inhale, reach your right arm up, exhale, bend your right arm and place your right palm in between your shoulder blades. Your left hand can hold on to your right elbow or place the back of your left hand by your lower back or maybe reach for your right fingertips or hold on to your shirt. Then inhale to lengthen up, lengthen your spine Exhale, begin to fold forward. You can soften your knees here. So pyramid pose with cow face arms. Breathe and notice a stretch in your right tricep. Slowly as you inhale, come back up. Very good. 
Release your arms and we'll switch sides. Take a wide stance and step your left foot forward. So for pyramid pose again with cow face arms. Bring your left arm up, bend your left elbow. Right hand holds on to your left elbow, option one. Second option is to place the back of your right hand against your lower back and maybe your right hand can reach for your left hand or grab on to your shirt. When you feel stable, inhale length your spine. Exhale with cow face arms, begin to fold forward. Again, doesn't have to be very far. Breathe, hold. Take one more deep breath and then release your arms. Bend your knees. Then come into pyramid pose just for a moment. Slowly come into a downward facing dog. From down dog, as you breathe in, come into a plank or a half plank. Exhale, lower down, place your hands by your lower ribs. Inhale, press through the tops of your feet and your palms. Lift yourself up for upward facing dog. Take a few deep breaths. Look forward, you don't need to crunch your neck here. Wonderful, then bend your knees and slowly come into a child's pose. Bring your big toes together, sit back on your heels and widen your knees as much as you want. Drape your upper body forward, rest your forehead on the ground and reach your arms towards the front of your yoga mat. Stay here for a few deep nourishing breaths, cooling down our bodies. Soften and relax your whole body. Every time you exhale, allow your body to get heavier and softer. Heavy hips and legs. Relax your whole torso. Soften your jaw, soften your belly. And relax your facial muscles. Take one more deep breath in child's pose. Slowly come out of child's pose and take a seat in a cross-legged position. You're welcome to sit up on a block to lift your, your hips a little bit higher than your knees. And we'll do a short guided meditation here. Sit up tall. Lengthen your spine, relax your shoulders, take Gyan Mudra. Connect the tip of your index finger with the tip of your thumb. Lengthen out the rest of your fingers and then rest your palms on your knees or thighs. Keep a soft steady gaze or close your eyes. And take a deep belly breath in through your nose. Slow calming breath out through your nose. Again, take a slow, deep breath in. Fill your whole upper body with clean air. And a deep, relaxing breath out. Soften your whole body. Allow your breath to flow. And notice the quality of your breath. And bring your awareness to your whole body, your skin, your muscles, bones, and joints. And notice how you feel now that you did your yoga practice. Notice the effects of doing a yoga flow, the yoga poses, building strength, creating flexibility, finding balance. Notice how everything feels in your body. And also scan your mind without any judgment. There's no right or wrong. What's, 
What's your general state of mind right now? Yoga is not just a physical practice. The physical part helps you to sit down for meditation. And I would love to share a few affirmations with you that are, in my opinion, very powerful. And I strongly believe that affirmations can help open your mind to new perspectives and possibilities. It's not to convince you of something that maybe doesn't feel true right now but it just plants a seed that can grow and blossom. I believe that what you focus on increases, like that beautiful quote by Tony Robbins, energy flows where attention goes. So you always have a choice to focus on something, (laughs) whether that's positive or negative, you can focus on something and that will grow, that will increase. So you have the power to choose what do you want to focus on, something positive or something negative. And just like your physical yoga practice where you build muscle strength and um, physical fitness, you can picture your brain as a muscle that you're also strengthening. And you can do that in very positive, very powerful ways. So you're welcome to repeat these affirmations out loud or softly to yourself or in your mind. So let's start with a deep breath in through your nose, calming breath out. I am strong and powerful. I am resilient and handle challenges with ease. Every step I take towards my goals today are moving me in the right direction. I let go of what I can't change. I surrender all expectations. I release any attachment to results and outcome of my efforts. Regardless of the outcome, I am taken care of. I trust that the universe or source, or God, or divine wisdom, or higher guidance, guides me in the right direction. I trust my learning process and journey. Balance is a process instead of a state of being. I trust that I am exactly where I'm supposed to be. Then take a moment to allow these words to settle in And then slowly, we'll finish this practice. Begin to deepen your breath in through your nose. As you exhale, let that be a release. And slowly, dip your chin, blink your eyes open, release your hands. Let's seal this in. As you breathe in, Circle your arms up. Imagine you're gathering all the love, light, blessings and miracles in between your arms and hands. Exhale. Unite your palms. Bring all that beautiful energy into your whole being. Put your hands in prayer position. Give yourself a big thank you that you took this time to do your yoga practice for your body, your mind and soul.
It's my wish that this practice is a blessing to you, from my heart to yours. Good job, Yogi. I'm so proud of you for making it this far and allowing me to be part of your practice. Thank you so much for watching. And because you're here, I have a free gift for you, the Blissful Morning Guide. All you need to do is click the link below this video, enter your first name and email, and I'll send it to you right away. And make sure that you're subscribed to my channel, like this video, share it with your friends and family, and leave me a comment, let me know what your favorite part was. I look forward to seeing you soon again on the mat. Bye.